Hi everyone, welcome to True Crime and Tarot. I'm Natalie and I am the founder of this YouTube channel. So today's case is going to be on a woman that is called Lisa Michelle Sterick. Um, I have done a lot of research into this case and I have done some tarot reading at the end for it to see what is the ins and outs. There is going to be some truths within this case reading that I am going to be doing with the tarot cards. It may not be 110% accurate but there is going to be something in, in there of some truth. Um, so I'm going to tell you some of the research upon this woman and then we are going to do the tarot reading. Okay, so her name is Lisa Michelle Stebick. She was born in May the 19th, 1969. Her place of birth was Park Ridge, Illinois. She had brown hair, brown eyes. She was five foot two, 125 pounds. And she's a female, obviously, and her race was white. So Stebick has a tattoo of a rose on her ankle a pink heart on her belly and a butterfly with the children's names Zach and Lexi. On her mid-back area she may have been using the maiden name Lisa Ruttenberg. Lisa Sterbeck was reported missing by her neighbour on May the 1st 2007. Afterward Sterbeck's estranged husband stated he believed that she had been either voluntarily or forcefully taken from the shared residence at approximately 6 p.m. on April the 30th, 2007. Lisa Sterbeck's car remained parked at her residence. Her purse and her cell phone was both missing, with no subsequent activity on her credit card or her phone since the time of her disappearance. So what I have done then, I have, that is some research that I could get online about Lisa Sterbeck. I couldn't find any other um, ins and outs about Lisa Sterbeck online. That's all I could find. Um, so now I have done some tarot cards. So this is going to be very short and sweet. Um, but if there's any other research that any of you can pick up on Lisa Michelle Sterbeck, please um, comment down below and I can make it into the video also next time. I could always go back onto the video. Um, so yeah, so I had done a tarot reading on this case um, and there is some questions that I asked which is very specific. So first of all I asked who was, uh, what happened to Lisa, then who was involved in her disappearance, where is Lisa now or her body and what is the final outcome of her case going to be. So the first question I asked then was what had happened to Lisa Michelle Sterbeck? So the first card was reverse eight of pentacles. So there was something about taking a lot of risks and being very careless and someone that had a bad reputation. The world card. So Lisa was in good health. She had a wonderful future ahead of her. People were very proud of her. She also achieved a lot of goals. She had been around her family and her friends quite a lot. Reverse two of swords. Lisa had been very guarded and had a lot of pain and hurt. She had faced fears that made her very afraid. Reverse death. Lisa had succumbed to her death. There was a sacrifice and a trauma, a very catastrophic event. Ace of Pentacles. There's something about money or a new job that Lisa had. Then the next question was, who was involved in Lisa Michelle Sterbeck's disappearance? Reverse King of Cups. There was a very immature male that is very unkind, that may have had alcohol alcoholism or addictions, that was involved in rape, violence, and may have been a con man that is in very much older than Lisa. Reverse Chariot then. This male had lost control and there were some issues around a car and travel issues. Seven of Swords. There was a lot of plotting and planning of taking Lisa. They have been spying on Lisa for quite a while. King of Wands. There is also another male that is strong and powerful. This is a well-respected and a risk taker that is very competitive and assertive. So this may be the same male 
that there's coming out as more um, characteristics about them and his personality traits or it may have been another person that was involved also. The next question I had then is where is Lisa Michelle Stebeck or her body? And we had the Queen of Swords come out. So there's a mature female that is seeking the truth. She's open-minded to anything as to help find Lisa or her body. She is a mother, so I'm assuming it is Lisa's mother seeking the truth and the whereabouts of Lisa. Moon card. There is a very dark place where Lisa is. There's also a lot of suspicions circling her disappearance. There's also something about issues surrounding a mother figure. There's something also about a illegal or shady business that is involved. Five of Swords. There was rape, murder involved and a mugging. And Lisa did fight in a corner. There was a lot of hostility and aggressiveness. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. There's overwhelmness and a change of plans with the perpetrator that had many problems. Six of Pentacles. There was someone who hired the perpetrator and had assistance in the disappearance. And there's to be, or was, support and help from Lisa's family and the community to help find Lisa. Reverse Ten of Wands. There's a lot of being taken advantage of and taking on too much than they can handle. There is to be an area near a home and water where Lisa is. What is the final outcome of Lisa's case? Reverse Knight of Cups. There is to be unwanted attention and a lot of go gossip going around about either the ex-partner or a stalker. And alcohol and drug involvements and a troublemaker that may have abducted Lisa. Strength card. There is to be a family member that is to face things head on in the case that is strong and determined for answers. Um, we have the sun card then. There is joy and success coming in and there's something about gardening or horses to be involved where Lisa may be buried. Reverse seven of wands. There's someone stepping down in the case. There is also foul play involved and a lot of overwhelmness. The last card then was the reverse lovers. So there's mentions of an ex-partner again coming forward that was very controlling and very possessive. So that is the research I could get out and that is what have come out in the tarot cards about the case and about where she is, who's involved, so on and so forth. Um, there's got to be some truth within this um, reading that I have done. Um, they may not be 110% accurate, but there's got to be some type of truth within the readings. Let's hope they do find uh, Lisa Michelle Stavik and they send out all our prayers, our love and our condolences out to the family. Let's get this awareness out to the family and to everyone to help try and find Lisa to bring her back home. Love and light for myself to everyone and to Lisa's family and I see you all again soon. Bye!